Hey guys, what's up? So today I want us to talk about something quite important and it's how most Nigerians or I'll say most people who are looking for jobs are unemployable. Now there are two phases to this thing now. Some people are unemployable and some people are basically not really good at positioning themselves to be employed. So for instance, let's take yesterday or was it day before yesterday I posted something about me not being able to reply all my whatsapp messages because there were hundreds and hundreds of them and I need to hire a virtual assistant if I get that right I've already started the process of finding one but I didn't say I was looking for a virtual assistant but I knew some people were going to like reach out to me and I was open to that right but then the first um, this thing I saw I saw something about I'm um, a law student and the person didn't really link how being a law student is going to help me be a virtual assistant to reply my messages. To be honest, the only requirements I needed for someone currently now is the person knows more about freelancing so she can tackle the questions I'll be getting in my DMs and the rest of that, or he or she, whoever I'm going to hire, right? So these were stuff I was looking this was this was what I was looking at. Second person was like I want to in fact that that person was actually manageable, it was good. But the rest of the people were like, I want to help you make money. And I'm not saying it's bad, but how? How, right? I like that's a huge turn off. There are so many ways to sell your services, mom. And it doesn't really have to be, I have to help you make money. It can be, I can help you save time. I can help you grow your account. I can help you, um, this thing, streamline, like, save, I can help you save time. I can help you grow your account. I can help you increase your followers. Like, there are so many ways, but it doesn't have to be, I will help you make money. Because, obviously, if you live in a situation where, the per if you are developing a personal person, and the person is making a lot more than you, then it makes no sense, right? So you want to think about that. You want to present yourself in a way where the person who is actually who you are actually pitching, if you are pitching an individual, or the person is part of a company, that the person sees your value. It doesn't have a lot of. In fact, anyone who is on the entrepreneurial mindset currently is thinking more about um, what do we call it, saving time so that they can do more and spend more time on things that will actually bring in money. So these are the angles you want to look at and find how best your skills. And always make sure that you are correlating your skills to whatever you want. So even if you worked in a, you worked as a salesperson, right? So if, let's say you, all you've, the only thing you've done is you've worked as a salesperson and you wanted to apply for a job, or you wanted to be an, an virtual assistant for anyone, right? You'd be like a customer, um, they said like, as I've had experience working with people, uh, be as a salesperson, I was also managing the register and the accounts and all this thing. I have experiences in this and how it relates to the job that the person wants to. If you can't find that correlation, then most of your proposals on Upwork, most of these are just going to be funny on a dead end. So these are the things I want you guys to think about. And I'll expatiate more on this down in this series, like one of, one of these days is February, I'll bring out time to show you guys better ways that you can do it, okay? So see you guys in the next video.